Hey, how's it going everybody? Back another TF2 gameplay commentary. This time on Payload Frontier, another great map. I love all the inclines and declines and flank routes which make playing ambush classes like the Pyro quite effective. Using the Degreaser, Flogan and Powerjack which is a standard set for most Pyros now. Which is why I want to do a quick vid on some tips and techniques to use when you use this setup. This vid will mostly be about the Flogan as it's where the Lorda gets most of his damage from. A lot of people use this setup and it's pretty well understood. You light them up with your Degreaser, you just quickly switch to your Flogan to get that crit and then switch out to your melee to finish if necessary. I'll briefly go over what the flirt is and what it does for those who don't know. It's a projectile weapon which upon hitting a player does 30 damage and sets them on fire for 60 damage over 10 seconds, equating to a good 90 damage. But if the flirt hits someone who's already on fire, it will initially crit for 90 damage and do 60 afterburn damage, equating to a huge 150 damage, enough to kill most classes. Combine that with the initial damage from your flamethrower and the hit from your melee weapon and you should be able to kill anyone. As you can see in this video, I'm pretty much following this philosophy although it does have quite a problem. Against some Pyros and some Dome men, this technique doesn't quite work and leaves you extremely vulnerable to them. This is because the whole setup depends on the enemy being able to set on fire. If they're not, the flamethrower won't be as effective and the flurgan won't be able to crit and deal afterburn damage. So instead of being able to do 90 and then 60 damage, you'll only be able to deal 30. And you'll have to use your melee weapon, which forces you to try and get up close to a Pyro, which if they're wielding a shotgun, will have an easy time killing you. There is one way you can combat this, a term called flow punching. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, it's basically something you can do utilising the Degreaser's faster weapon switch. You use your flamethrower to burn the enemy pyro, then quickly switch to your flur, and as soon as it's active, fire at the enemy. If done fast enough, we will hit the enemy while we're still taking fire damage and crit them. Here's a few examples. As you can see, in almost every situation it's possible, although it does take a lot of practice to pull this off consistently. You can even reflect the enemy's flur and crit them as you normally would, although it's extremely situational. It also works against the demo men with the charge and charge equipped, uh, although we'll only deal around 75 damage. And it also works with the Volcano Fragment, assuming you have the Degrees as your primary. So now that I've covered the Fuller, I should probably mention the other secondaries for the Pyro too. The Pyro currently has 7 secondaries, although only around 4 of them are viable and worth equipping. The Detonator, which is much like the Fuller in terms of mechanics and design, although is more versatile, you can perform Detonator Jumps which allow you to access platforms and areas which would be unaccessible for the Pyro, helping you to ambush more effectively and give you more mobility. It can also be manually detonated, which creates a small explosion allowing you to light up a group of enemies, but the cost of mini crits instead of crits to burning enemies, doing an average of 41 damage instead of the flurs 90. Because of this, it's best to use the detonator play more defensively, hanging back around your engineer and medic and fending off scouts and spy checking, as you won't be able to output as much damage. Moving away from the flurs, the power can equip shotguns, which are pretty well understood as half the classic and equip them. The two main ones are the default shotgun and the reserve shooter. The shotgun is very good for most enemies, it can deal a good 90 damage if you're close enough and get all the pellets to hit, and can do fair damage at medium range too. It's also hit scan, which means it's easier to land shots against enemies and reduces the chance of missing. It can also work underwater with the flamethrower and flows gun out. For direct pyro vs pyro fights, you have the advantage too. The shotgun doesn't need the enemy to be on fire for it to be most effective. You can hold back and away from the pyro, staying out of his range of his melee and flamethrower and get shots on him. I don't have a fucking clue what that sniper's doing. Anyway, the problem with the shotguns is that they keep the pyro ineffective at long range. The flamethrower and melee can only be used at close ranges and the shotgun's damage falls dramatically over distance, whereas the flare gun can hit over any range, allowing you to annoy enemy snipers and engineers and still deal a crit or mini crit on retreating, burning players. The reserve shooter is quite similar to the hit shotgun. The main difference is the mini crits are available on targets after switching out weapons. This allows you to air blast the enemy and taking advantage of the faster weapon switches for both the reserve shooter and degreaser enables you to get a very close up hit on the enemy. You can do a maximum of 120 damage in one shot and the weapon makes you extremely effective against enemy pyros. Here's a shot clip I took against the pyro and medic. I get the initial air blast on him which is very important as it makes the trajectory very predictable and I'm able to finish him off doing over 200 damage to him in two shots. Although the reserve shooter only has a clip size of 4 as opposed to the shotgun 6, which makes air blasting the enemy crucial, as you have to be very precise with aiming and make sure you utilise the mini crit damage as to make sure that you don't have to reload before the fight is over. Anyway, I think I've pretty much covered the flare gun. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something too. If you liked the video, great, like, comment and subscribe. If you didn't, leave me a comment saying why not and I'll get back to you. Oh, and if you don't like using the flare gun, you can always wreck a whole team with the flare gun the best power ever. Ah, you see this guy understands. Take care guys.